So the North Central Research Extension Center has worked with corn for a lot of years. And right now we've been working on a planting concept called twin row corn. And this is not necessarily new for the corn world, but it certainly is for, for North Dakota and certainly the northern parts of North Dakota. Twin row corn is basically planting corn into, um, into rows that are a little bit offset, so the plants will actually be in a triangular or a zigzag configuration. And that allows corn to have a little bit more space to grow within a row. Along with that, we think we can plant more corn plants within that row and therefore enhance yield. So we've looked at this for a few years now and what we are looking at uh, specifically is what effects do twin rows have on, on maturity as far as using corn maturities that are um, 75 day corn versus 86 day corn uh, as well as, as doing comparisons with what we typically do with 30 inch, a normal 30 inch row and also looking at populations, so 25, 30, and 35,000 plants per acre. Looking at that combination of, of uh, factors. And what we've seen so far is that the, the early maturing uh, varieties, the 60 or the 75 day variety, uh, tends to respond quite well to twin row planting. Uh, the later maturing corn that we've looked at, the 86-day corn, uh, does not have nearly the, the, uh, the yield response uh, from this twin row concept. With the early maturing corn, the 75-day corn, we also find that, that we get a yield response with the higher populations. Um, and we don't see that with the later maturing corn. Cost is always an issue. Um, equipment costs, the equipment is fairly expensive, but it's readily available. Um, what we've seen with the 75 day uh, twin row is that we can increase yields by about 75, uh, by, we can increase yields by about 10%. Um, and just basic math would say your return on investment would be about 10 years. Um, over your conventional corn. So along with this is, is some questions about harvesting. And what we've seen is we can use the, the typical combine configuration. You don't have to buy a different kind of header. The corn plants tend to, to wiggle enough that uh, we, can, we can get them in to go and feed into a, a normal, a normal uh, header without any issues.